we're gonna be reacting to the most extreme collections on the planet. Like this guy that owns over 100 cars. Or this guy whose literal house is filled with video games. Okay, that's cool. This is the world's largest Lego collection. Oh my God, look all the Star Wars ships are flying. What a genius. This is so sick. It's a complete collection of Lego Ninjago minifigures. Oh, he's got all the Ninjagos, bro. That's gotta be at least 30 grand right there. All the Stormtroopers, that's adding another 50 grand easily. This man's dedicated. And that's gotta be at least what, like 30, 40 million dollars? worth of Legos. All sorts of Y-Wings all hanging in formation here. They made a movie about this. The Lego movie is literally about not hoarding all your Legos and just having fun and being creative with them. And welcome to my games room. This man just bought a Blockbuster and called it a game room. <laughs> no, he bought a Blockbuster and an arcade. His whole house is a game room. This is where I keep all my joy pads for the modern console. For the modern consoles. His different eras. It kind of does look like a store though. Like it doesn't look like a collection. Not, I'm not dogging on it though. Oh, that's pretty cool. You don't have one of those. I don't. You also don't have really hype music. Do you think this would attract women? I Yeah, this would attract women. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll buy it. Largest Garfield. <laughs> Whoa! You know I didn't know if that was Andrew Garfield. You know who's the biggest fan of Garfield ever that you probably didn't know? Remember in the video where we stole stuff from their house and Chandler was like, don't touch anything Garfield related. Interesting. It's because she's a huge Garfield fan. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this Chandler's mom? This might be Chandler's mom. Here's the thing. You go to a club, right? You meet <laughs> the greatest girl ever. Uh-huh. You go back to her house, you walk in a room, Garfield room. You stay in or leave it. I'm grabbing a Garfield and I'm cuddling with it. All right. I don't think nobody, more than a hundred, but just in case one doesn't meet the standards for the Guinness Book of Record, I have more than a hundred. No, I think you're fine. Well, I'm pretty confident you got this old record. Yeah, you'll be scared. Don't worry about it. This guy owns more phones than I have had for, wow. Okay, is this, this is cool. Very emotional when it comes to my phones. I can't see someone drop my phone. I can't see someone scratch it. These are my babies. Wait, some of those are broken. Didn't he just say those are his babies and he couldn't stand to see him broke? Just so. means when he drops them, it doesn't look. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Today I have counted all the phones and those are 2371. And you know, holding a Guinness Book of World Records adds a prestigeness to you and your personality. Oh, do you think owning 2,371 phones adds to your personality? Do those two that are literally butchered in half count? <laughs> like, it's time for the sneaker collection. Million dollar sneaker collection, that's it? Yeah, but I bet he doesn't have these. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen a bigger shoe collection. Than yeah, this. dude, a million dollar shoe collection is not the biggest shoe collection. The Project Blitz, Blitz warehouse we went to had like 20 million. It's actually closer to like 30 million. Some say collection, I say horror house. Literally, that's what our notes say. I always wanted to have a little demon baby in a black crib in my living room. Now I do, so. <laughs> It's a collection that might have some people running for the hills. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's fair. Well, now it makes sense. Oh, oh wow. Marilyn Mansfield of New York City has spent tens of thousands of dollars on the uniquely horrifying collection. Of oh, this is a collection? I would just say this is more of like a problem. They really are like a part of the family. Pa oh, part of the family. Okay. I say we put her on the FBI watch list. Kid spends five years making a rubber band ball. Started uh, April 10th, uh, 2004, and it was the size of probably like a, like a golf ball. Hey, wait. I actually remember this. They made a commercial with this. And and they played the song, The Rubber Band Man. Not only how do you spend five years doing this, but how do these people afford this? I'm just wondering how they resisted the masculine urge not to drop that thing. I wanna see big rubber band ball Yo. bounce. So these Nerf guns. Uh, oh, those are cool. Keeps going. Yo, imagine a zombie apocalypse happens and this guy's like, dang, I was collecting I could, the wrong gun. Yeah, he's like, I could have collected real guns. I chose Nerf. I heard it was Nerf or nothing. Apparently it's nothing now. <laughs> hey, if you're a real Nerf pro, you'll know that barrel attachments actually hinder your trajectory. The longer the barrel, the not as accurate. Yeah, you don't want too many attachments. You want to just raw dog it. What a nerd. Yeah, this one looked pretty cool. That one looks like a real gun. That was not safe for a napkin collector. No way. Antonia Kozakova from Slovakia is the proud owner of the largest collection of napkins in the world. Oh, she's quirky. This is like being a Google search query collector. It's just a piece of paper with different images on it. it. It's like those people who collect magazines. Like, who cares? Well, no, magazines make sense no. because those were printed and sent out. This is literally just random images from Google on a piece of paper. Well, I this was before I... Google was a thing because she's old. Okay, then that would make a little more sense. But you don't know that. Well, now it's like... You don't know. It's like the printer and the internet have made this collection useless because I could 
could just go make this entire collection if exactly. I really wanted to. Your entire life is futile, ma'am. How will you deal with this information? Oh, the Guinness actually gave her a world record for it? Oh, yeah, this is way before the internet. They started collecting in 1997. That's my least favorite world record, but it's still a world record. And I'm with Janet Estevez, who has the Guinness World Record for the biggest Mickey Mouse collection. What was the very first Mickey? Do you have the first Mickey that started the whole collection off? I used to have a clown collection when I was a little girl. Aww. And uh, this Mickey Mouse dress as a clown was in that clown collection. Disney adults are weird. There I said it. Those are diamonds. Really? That's worth a lot of money. Is she rich, rich? Yeah, this ain't like your normal everyday collection. She really liked Disney. She has to constantly be buying it to not lose her world record. Yeah, I'm sure. You know what I used to collect when I was a kid? These nuts? Rocks. Close. One million dollar Hot Wheel collection. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Collection today is worth well in excess of a million dollars. Well, I just see 30 of the same vans <laughs> so far. <laughs> Yo, let Tucker come over. He, won't, he gonna wanna play with that. Included in Bruce's collection is the most valuable Hot Wheels vehicle in the world, worth a whopping $150,000. No, you don't just say a Hot Wheels worth 150K and not tell us why. What? No, I am suing. Editor, edit Chris's face and make him tell us why it's so valuable. It is expensive because it is a prototype. Pretty much every Funko Pop ever made. Nerd. Funko He's like, yo, these are gonna be collectible 100%. The Big Bang Theory Funko Pops? Did they ever reach collectible status? No. Like, do Funko Pops resell for more money yet? There's been like a few that like sold early on like for like five so what you're telling me is l so this guy has over 100 cars oh my god i'm just gonna be 100 percent honest all those cars look the same they are but they're all like different years and models no, he has they're the, the same he has the collections lined up by like, oh of that model of yeah. car oh okay. every single car is a different version <laughs> of itself look he has all those lambos there's no way that lambo is the same model as that other car no <laughs> What are you saying? Fords. He lines up all the Fords. Oh, he has all okay. the Lambos. I got it, I got it, I got it. What do you think, I'm stupid? <laughs> yes. Look, see, they're all Lambos, you dingus. <laughs> Most terrifying collection ever. Oh boy. Here, you tell me if it's good. Can I look? It's heavy metal with spiders. It's cool. I'll, I'll look. Yeah, that's fine. Oh! oh my God, he's got big old fat sausage legs. This shouldn't be legal. I want one so bad, but he's Katie up told to me, something. Katie told me she will divorce me if I get a spider. Sounds like we're buying a spider. Woo, spider gang! <laughs> Jokes. Jokes. Jokes, I support your marriage. Although I would love to spend more time with Chris. And spiders. Meet Mike Fontaine, owner of the world's largest collection of 75,000 pieces of McDonald's memorabilia. 70,000. I wonder if there's someone somewhere out there doing the same thing for Beast Burger. Just collecting it all. I'm just not aware they exist yet. You should stop. Yeah. Get to my home. Behind the doors of this seemingly ordinary house is a colorful history of a global fast food favorite. I have glasses. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yes, you wait, do. Wait. Play, play back. I have glasses. I can't confirm. Yes, he does. He does have glasses. You do. Great. Astute observation. Equipment. Lapel pins. My table of contents is 398 different categories. He made a table of contents for his own collection? Admit it, you're jealous. I am jealous. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Do it or I will fart. Please save me.